Here we are in Premiere Pro, and I'll show you how to remove echo from your audio. First, let's listen to a sample of audio with echo, and then with the effect applied. Hopefully, you won't hear any echo. Here is the audio sample without the effect. You can clearly hear the echo. Here is the audio sample with the effect. It's not perfect, but it's way better. To start, head to the Effects panel and search for D-Reverb. Drag the effect onto your clip. That's the basic setup, but you can also tweak it to your liking. To make adjustments, go to the Effect Controls tab and locate the D-Reverb effect. Click on Edit to fine-tune it. To accurately tweak the effect, let's loop a portion of the clip. Set an in point at the beginning of the section by pressing I and an out point at the end by pressing O. Then click on the plus icon and add loop playback if it's not already there. With loop playback active, Premiere will repeatedly play the selected portion of the clip, allowing us to focus on tweaking the effect without constantly moving the playhead. By default, D-Reverb is set to 40%, which is a good starting point. Gradually increase the percentage while monitoring the audio. Avoid cranking it to 100% as it can introduce strange artifacts. The key is to listen and adjust gradually. Another tip is to toggle the effect on and off to compare the before and after. This ensures that the audio doesn't sound strange or distorted. There's an option to target specific frequencies, but for simplicity, it's best to leave it on all frequencies, unless you're familiar with the exact frequencies you want to affect. To clear your in and out points, simply right-click and select Clear In and Out Points. And there you have it. Another trick to improve your videos by removing echo in Adobe Premiere Pro.